everyone. We thought we'd talk to you today about soaking your horse's hay. Now you may have a horse that's a bit predisposed to laminitis, it could be insulin resistant or suffer from equine metabolic syndrome. And so soaking your hay helps release those water soluble carbohydrates or sugars from the hay. Now it's important to remember when choosing a hay to feed your horse that those meadow hays, grass hays and cereal hays like barley and oats do tend to have a slightly higher concentrate of those carbohydrates than your loosened hay, which is what I'm going to use today. So to soak your hay, you need a nice big tub. I just use one of these black garbage bins. It's really good for the job. Um, and I've also put my hay into a slow feeder, which makes it a lot easier to handle, to pull out and drain and then feed out to the horse. So you want to fill your tub with luke or warm water to about double the volume of the hay that you're soaking. The reason we use the warm water is that it tends to release the sugars just a little bit quicker. So basically just grab your hay, put it in your tub, and you want to soak it for probably about 30 to 60 minutes. Now once you've done that, and I'm not obviously going to stand here and bore you for 30 to 60 minutes, just pull your hay out, oh, as such, and just hang it up to drain. I'll just hook this around the gate. Now you probably want to let it drain for about 15 minutes just to dry off a little bit more and then feel free to feed it out to your horses. Now you could be worried that maybe soaking your hay is just taking a little bit of those other nutrients out of it as well at the same time. So you could, if you are concerned, add something like Ranvet's ration balancer to your horse's diet and that will give them all the vitamins and minerals that they need in one small simple little pellet. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that sort of makes a bit of sense to you and a little bit helpful and thanks for watching.